Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Playing a game called Eratus, Lord of the Dead. Um, it's on uh, early access on Steam, if you want to check it out. Um, played the game uh, about two, three days ago and I really liked it a lot. Uh, this is a, uh, a strategy roguelike game. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. As you can see, uh, I have two games, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and open a, a play a new game. And as you can see, I have opened uh, uh, the, the three difficulties so far. Um, but when you start, you're probably going to start with the uh, just the uh, easy difficulty. So when you go into the game, this is pretty much everything is self-explanatory except when you go to creation and you click on it. Uh, as you can see, mine is you know almost everything is highlighted over here, but uh, for the first time player, I think you have about seven minions on and then the rest of them you have to unlock um, I mean these are easy to unlock you got to capture I think three of these But the tricky part is becomes the, what the, if you want to unlock vampires and uh, To unlock vampire you need to it's it's really tricky. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out but hopefully in this episode, uh, we can, um, I can show you guys how to actually um, unlock the vampire minion. And uh, by far, these, these guys are my favorite uh, that I've played with them. Uh, they do insane damage. Um, and they also have health steal, which is a huge plus. So these are really hard to uh, die in battle. So with that said and done, these are your uh, pretty much, you know, when you start the game off, these are your default minions that you go in battle with. And for graveyard, when you go in graveyard and you can see the mortuary is where if your units get injured, you can put them up here. They can they can get it uh, healed up. And that's, you know, it takes takes a battle for you after the battle is won. So with that said and done, you also have two types of attack. But I'm going to explain you guys uh, once we are... So pretty much, you know, this looks like a dungeon. And you can take, you know, different ways to get to all the way when you reach up at the top. Uh, you have a boss fight. And there's many different ways to get into it, to this. Uh, and you also have, uh, you know, mobs. You have different types of uh, rewards. Um, what I'm going to do right now is the, your first battle is to kind of break you into the game. You know, they just put in three, uh, three mobs in there for you to fight. So let's jump in and um, I'll explain to you guys a little bit about the uh, combat. So the way combat system is, works, if you look at the, uh, the mobs over here, they have two bars. Uh, one is their health bar and the other one is their stress bar. A lot of the mobs that you have, they do some stress damage, and what that does is, if it gets to a certain point, or if it gets to all the way low, and if their stress bar goes down all the way, it's a very a good possibility for them to get a heart attack and, and just die in battle. Um, but also sometimes, you know, when they get halfway, they want to uh, they want to run away, and when they run away, there's a little box that comes up here. Um, it's white. Uh, when that happens, that means you can you can capture him and then you can turn him into a vampire. But we're not there yet. After this battle, I'm gonna go through uh, <coughs> through this, uh, the talent bar and everything. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to do it at the beginning. So um, the skeleton goes first, and the way it is is um, their initiative. If they, if it's high, that means they have the first chance to attack in battle. Uh, also lock is you know if you scroll to it you know it's pretty much self-explanatory and it tells you uh, this is pretty much you know it uh, determines their critical rate uh, and then they have two different types of attack they have normal attack and they have what's called dread uh, what that does is it uh, lowers um, uh, not their health but it lowers their stress level okay so with that said and done, let's go get it started.
be this easy. Yeah, so for your lineup, you only get four minions to bring into battle. Um, I usually use the uh, Dark Knight as, as a tank uh, because he's got a lot of armor. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of health, but it has a lot of armor. And then Zombie is good, you know, for the beginning of a couple of battles. But then you can always replace him. And then the Skeletons are uh, very much, you know, they they do okay damage. Not, not a whole lot is the uh come on not a whole lot is the archer but uh they're also you know they're not tanky they're they're in the middle um it's it's good you know to use them for sacrifices and such but i wouldn't i, I don't know I, I don't like to use them in battle but uh, yeah for be for beginner yeah i don't mind it but when you reach Yeah, when you reach mid-level game, I would, you know, I don't use them. One more for the stockpiles. Like, you know how they did the animation in this game. It's pretty cool. As your suffering ends, your service begins. So, after you win the battle, these are the body parts that you receive or parts they call it uh, you can get the dust uh, the blood heart and so forth this is pretty much the radis's level um, you know and the experience that he gains um, click OK and then um, so if you look up here you can access you know the areas from here or you can just click them through here so Talents for every uh, time you level up you get talent point uh, What I recommend doing is in order for you to unlock vampire uh, Minion you need to unlock this one first my magic will shake the very foundations of this world Yes, it will And then what you want to unlock is blood curse once you unlock that then you can go um, and you know, create vampire. I mean, um, once the enemy skips, you hit him with this spell, and then you can get him as vampire. But I'll show you guys that once we reach that level. Um, so if I go right, there's a chest for me to unlock. But if I go to the left, there's a sacrificial altar that I have to sacrifice somebody. Um, and sometimes, you know, you get some really good stuff. Um, I'm gonna go to the left, but before I do that, I don't have anybody on my, uh, I don't want to sacrifice these guys, so I'm just gonna cre create a new skeleton minion, and then craft it, More bones for the dogs of war. and then go back here, select him, and then click on that, and then you just drag him up here, and then sacrifice. And then these are the items you get so what those items mean or how do you equip them click on any of your minion see these two empty spots uh, for her I'm gonna use this one that says physical damage is increased by 10% and then the this one the golden tooth uh, the lock is plus six so that means she'll do more critical damage well, she's gonna have a chance to do critical and then for the dark knight i usually use this that says physical damage received is reduced by nine percent since he's a tank and then accuracy um i'll just keep that for now 
I won't give it to anybody right now. So let's uh, let's go back to battle. See, this time you got four people in there or four mobs. So if you look at these, these are, you know, like the buffs they have. Um, also, if you look down here, there's a, there's a shield with a one next to it. What that means is you have to break that shield in order to damage these guys. Sometimes they have three, sometimes they have four, or sometimes they cast it on themselves. So to show you guys, I'm going to have her. She can attack anyone. So she's an archer. She can attack anyone. So I'm going to have... Her attack this guy see that block now that shield is gone that means we can we can attack him so for him I'm just gonna right now attack this guy since he has no health Yeah, <coughs> with her, when when she gets uh, rose for a lady, this this skill is amazing. It'll hit all of these guys, oh, no mercy. and they're all critical them critical. I'm gonna use cannon on this guy. Good night. Yeah, right now he doesn't have any attack, so we're gonna use bombardment. was your first mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> your using it as fertilizer all right so all of our uh, minions are leveled up we're gonna start with dark knight what i want to level him is see the little armor with a plus <coughs> don't worry about these just uh just look for the uh, if you whatever stats you want him to go uh so if i click on this you can see that the armor is over here six if I click on that, that'll make him to seven. And then I usually use this guy for damage, so I just go for for the attack. And then I use skeleton the same, you know, I use him as damage. Uh, I just go for the attack. And then same thing with her. She's my main damage person. Get back to battle. Okay, the other thing you guys notice that these are the body parts that are down here are locked and the way to unlock those is you go to You go to your talents and you unlock them here, but I wouldn't recommend doing it right now We just want this one to be unlocked with knowledge and will comes victory <clears throat> That way with this we can unlock the vampire and since we have that now uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a mummy 
Mummies are amazing at curses and also uh, stress attack. So I'm just going to craft one. And as you can see, they also have really uh, high health. So they last, they last a good while in the battle. And uh, I'm going to take the uh, skeleton out. Actually, what I'm going to do is probably uh, upgrade the, uh, the dead lake. So in order for me to upgrade this, I need a banshee. And also 20 of these little things over here. So let's go and create a banshee, which is right here. Come, dear. It's time for your performance. Yes, yes, indeed it is. The entity below seems to have developed an attachment to me. <clears throat> so uh, to lay eyes on its full form would be to invite madness. So I'm content to occasionally give it a pat on the tentacle. So for every one of these things you unlock, that minion that you're gonna put in here has a 20% chance to find uh, body parts. So uh, the next time you know we're going to unlock, uh, I'm hopefully unlock them all because you want to unlock all of them. All right, let's go back into battle. So these are really nice. If your units are injured, you can actually heal them in here. You have two options. You have a this side mana and this side uh, health, which I really need the health. So let's go back into battle. Mummy's turn. Mummy has this main attack right here. That's a stress attack, and it's gonna hit all of them. Rot their flesh and their soul. So you see on this side, these are your spells and this is the blood curse. You only want to cast this if a mob, uh, if one of these guys are escaping the battle. If they're running away, you can you can use that and then you can capture him and then they become a vampire. Also the other skill that I like about Dark Knight is this one. It uh, replenishes his health, but since his health is still, you know, uh, quite a ways to go. Uh, I'm not going to use it. Also, uh, uh, I told you guys that, uh, you know, with the shield, uh, there's actually also another one that, that, that there's a shield, but that's for the stress level. So, uh, yeah, I'll break this that shield in a, in a little bit. And he this guy dead. Oh, good, good. Yeah. More materials. I didn't even get with this easy. Alright, load up your cannons. Our cannon. Can't attack him. I'll just go for him. Oh, 
fishes from this world. See that? So they have the buff that says sanity. And uh, it can have a negative effect on the mobs and also it can have positive effect. Uh, there's a lot of mobs that you don't want to use um, stress attack on them because once they're, they go insane, uh, they get, you know, different types of buff. But my goal is to show you guys actually make these mobs run away so I can capture them. So right now I'm just going to buff them. And with her, I'm just going to attack and see I have the... Uh, Rules for a lady that attacks all of them, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna attack. Uh, he might die, but uh, we'll see. I killed him. A predictable outcome. It's alright, next battle. So, <coughs> nobody's hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump in. Actually, yeah, jump into the next battle. Extinction of life. Frail bodies fail you. Yeah, these guys, um, I may have to kill them. Yeah, this one's insane. I'm probably gonna keep him, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. 
Yeah, this one has stress attack, so I'm gonna hit him with a stress attack. Once his uh, stress level is all the way down and gone, you can actually make him have a heart attack. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. Alright, the mummy leveled up. I'm gonna uh, make him a little tanky. And then for the Dark Knight, I'm gonna create another Dark Knight. Uh, see these brains? Uh, if you come up, uh, you know, if it says four, this, this guy can be a level four. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, make another one and then make him level four. And then uh, keep this guy as a spare. Okay, so when you put the parts in here, make sure everything is gray. Uh, you don't want to use the uh, colored ones. Um, and, I, uh, and I'll show you why. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, an inspiring leader, but irrelevant for the armies of undead. So I'm going to go ahead and use a brain on him, a uh, four brain. To make him level him up and make him. My enemies tanky. are in for a nasty surprise. Uh, yeah, I'll put this one on, on the attack. Right. And then, since I have another uh, four brain, I'm gonna create a mummy and then make him level four. Yeah, see the color ones. You definitely don't want to use the color ones. You want to use the gray ones. And then, of course, now, the health. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. And then also the armor and also resistance. So we're gonna put these guys in here. <laughs> And then, since I also have uh, Bride of Eratus, I have a level 3 brain, but she's injured. So, I'm going to go ahead and create another one, and then level her up. And definitely don't want to use the color ones again. Oops. And then for her, everything is, I put it on attack. And then I put her here. Yeah, she had a, she has a physical damage increase by 10%, but, uh, oh well. So we go to the mortuary and see if we can um, open up one more slot. And to do that, it requires this guy here. We're gonna go An unassuming creation. Craft one. The warnings were just superstitions. And then put this on here. Unholy masonry. So now we can uh, 
put this guy I'm not I'm just gonna leave the mummy but she's important so I'm just gonna put these two so the next battle we won and come out um, they should be healed up over here is your artifacts and as you can see I have artifacts over here and you can actually equip them um, this one says enemies are 10% more likely to drop parts since I don't have anything Equip right now. I'm just gonna use it. It's not one of my favorite ones, but it'll do for now All enemies uh, lose minus three armor and minus three stress. So I'm definitely gonna use that This gives me 300 additional experience at the end of the victory It embellishes my undead features The ones that are has you know this golden color that means it's a one-time use So you can use it one time and then after the battle is won this, this is gone and you gain 300 experience so since since we unlocked this already now we'll go to alchemy and then the first one in alchemy you want to unlock is uh, this one here through transformation the will becomes free so once you unlock that now you can um, you see these are unlocked before we had a lock but these are unlocked now you can put in the color ones and the color ones what they do is they give them extra stats I recommend not to use you know green or blue because you only get two stats two different stats I will wait until I can get a purple one purple one is the, the highest level that you can get and to get a purple I think you need eight of body parts like eight flash so to create a purple you go to alchemy over here and then we want it flesh you fill it craft it so it gives a green now you two of these make one green so we'll go another one now it puts two green and now we have two blues ah the smell of successful alchemy <coughs> okay now this is now see it's got three different kinds of stats attack ward and initiative so uh, we'll go on our oops not the knight let me see yeah her she has a flesh um, I definitely don't want to use it on on the mummy especially this one since it has plus three attack I want to use it on her so and it's one time use only once you put it here, you cannot take it out. That's it. And if they die, they lose that. Same thing with the uh, these these little things here. Okay. So uh, I can also upgrade her uh, the the blood over here, but I need eight of these to make a purple one. Two, four, six. Yeah, I'm one short. Same thing with the heart. So you make sure you have at least eight of these. Then you can uh, upgrade it and put it on here. And every time you upgrade. It gives you a random stat. It's not always the same. It just gives you random. Sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not. But it's always nice to have to have those around. All right, with that said and done, let's uh, let's go to the next battle and see if we can make one of these mobs run away. Oops. So, with these guys, what I want to do, I want to get rid of this guy first. See, he also has one shield, one shield of each. That means stress level, he has one, and also physical, he has one. So, he's the first one that I want to kill because uh, he's not only have um, AOE spell that I can damage all my uh, minions, but he can also buff these guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice shot. We got into our uh, level four brain, and these guys are at the uh, mortuary. There, they healed up. That's awesome. So we'll put them here. Might have to create another. Uh, mummy and then level it up to level four because we got we have a level four brain no color i like to keep the embalmed organs as uh, souvenirs i expect results yes you shall have results. All right, now we got a quest. These quests, sometimes it gives you, um, you know, it depends on what kind of uh, answers you choose, but I'll show you guys. So if you read that up and then you hover over to the answers, it says this will initiate battle or nothing happens. We want to initiate battle. When you do that, I think you get um, harder mobs. Let's try. Yeah, these, these guys these guys are new, so uh, yeah, I have to be careful. They all do uh, quite a bit of damage, uh, and and they have the shields on. But I want to go ahead and get rid of some of these spear guys. <laughs> These last few heartbeats. I hate it when they do that. What that what this means is that they redirect the damage to them. So uh, sometimes it's a percentage, sometimes it's all the time. So redirects all target attacks to this guy if, if I'm if I attack him. Alright buddy, you were asking for it, here you go. Yeah. 
That's gonna leave a mark. Good. He's he's going insane. What that means is when they go insane, it's a good possibility for him to to run away from the battle. Guys, you see this? That means he's gonna run away from battle. So here's our chance. Once, once you see that little, uh, that little triangle thingy right there, uh, go ahead and uh, put the blood curse on him. Crimson hunger. There we go. Now don't attack him. Don't kill him. Let him uh, run away. So with the mummy now, what I'm gonna do is just uh, curse him. <laughs> Zombie ruined it. Don't kill this guy, man. Shit. Attack your hand. Yeah, I might as well kill him. We'll get it on the next battle. Mine is the winning side. Yeah, see, this was a quest, so uh, all of our uh, minions receive four experience points, which is really nice. And we gained 200 talent uh, points, which means we got three talent extra talent points I mean we're my uh, minions are hurt but we got some really nice stuff so we can come back over here go to alchemy the next thing I want to unlock is increase the chance of receiving parts at the end of every battle by 10 percent the formulae reveal their secrets I want to unlock that and then I want to unlock this one the formulae reveal their secrets that way uh, I receive a lot of uh, body parts after the battle. I really don't want to use the zombie. Um... Serve me well, my minion. Oops, he has one more point. Hmm. Yeah, put it on health. I'm going to go with uh, HP. <clears throat> and then for her, I'm going to go with luck. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. Oh man, these guys haven't healed yet. What's going on? Yeah, the battle we fought was, <coughs> it was tough. And we got uh, we got these guys again. Damn. Yeah, let's give it a try. Why not?
frail bodies fail you. There's a good chance you'll skip. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm just gonna hit this guy. Send him all the way to the back row. I'm gonna pass him. Your frail bodies fail you. Better run away. Oh man, he died. you guys one of you guys need to run away maybe if I kill him Better run away, come on. Man. Oh well, might have to do it next battle. He's not going anywhere. I think I'm going to use, because uh, he does, all he does is uh, stress attack, so I'm going to upgrade that. And then probably put him in the uh, mortuary and take the, get the number uh, level 4. Uh, these guys I'm just going to leave. Oh, you know what? May want to... Um, upgrade this the arena actually helps them level up so uh, let me create a skeleton definitely don't want the color ones in here uh, bones 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 just so uninspired you know So here's the arena. I'm gonna put her on there so she can level up. 
and then we'll go we'll go to the next battle hopefully we'll get somebody to run away these guys I think I'm gonna get him first them all the way. That's awesome. Yes. See, now he's trying to run away. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit him Crimson with this. Hunger. Oh man, that didn't work because he had a shield on. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna hit him now. Crimson hunger. There we go. Now he's got the blood curse. Now I'm just gonna leave him alone, I won't kill him. <laughs> this never gets old. Yeah, look at him praying. You better pray, buddy. You're doomed. There he goes. <laughs> now you see we got the vampire right here. <coughs> Awesome. So, here's the vampire. Now you got to do that three times, and then when you come here, you unlock the vampire. And let me see if I have uh, brains to give her. Nope. But uh, yeah, she's uh, she's amazing uh, in battle. Uh, she does a lot of damage, and she also leeches life. Uh, which is amazing and she's very very hard to kill all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here thank you so much for being here with me i will see you guys on the next episode bye bye